What is up guys, my name is Andrew, welcome back to the Space Engineer Season 2 Let's Play. This is episode number uh, 7, I do believe, and today we've got a couple of things that I want to do. Um, mainly we want to finish this thing right here that we started last episode that we weren't able to finish, so this is our main uh, thing that we want to do, but our secondary thing that we want to do is add an extension to this hangar so that we can kind of put our, uh, our Bubby Mobile inside kind of a little... Uh, a room or something like that and we also want to go ahead and try and start on a fighter ship that we might not finish this episode we might finish next episode we'll see uh, but it's something that we can kind of start towards so that we can kind of uh, start to raid all these ships that we see pass by because I do want to see what what those guys have on top of or have on them so I want to see like what we can maybe get from them so uh, let's start by kind of opening a door here some like kind of there we go. So we're going to do kind of like this thing right here. Uh, and I think, how, how big are you? You can probably one, two, three, four. Four blocks will probably be good. We'll go five just to be sure. Uh, and I think that'll still be fine. So two. Our inventory is full. We'll grab those back as they slowly fall to the ground. Uh, no worries. Four. So, hang on. How many is this? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. That should be enough for this thing to back into if we need to. And how high do we need to go? I don't want to go all the way to the roof. So maybe three blocks up would be fine. And I'm sure this is probably bothering a bunch of you guys that... Oh, shoot. Well, we'll have to see what we want to do about this. Um, because in case you haven't uh, realized what the problem is yet, the problem is that we do not have enough room to go back. We have... Because we have stuff right behind it. Uh, we could, however, make it a kind of a small little... I mean, if... Okay, if we break this wall right here and instead have walls on the side... Let's try that. Let's break this wall. And once again, you guys are probably like, no, your inventory's full. Stop breaking this. You're going to leave everything on the ground. It's going to all disappear. Don't worry. We have tons of steel plates. We're good. That's actually partially a lie. We don't have tons of them. We do have a couple, though. Okay, let's let's put, or let's put, let's weld a couple things so we can pick up some of these babies. We don't have to keep them on the ground. Okay, uh, we're going to do something like this. Go up like that. Kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. And we're just going to come over like this. Just like a kind of, so it's kind of going to be a small little hanger if you will so kind of like it backs in a little bit and it, but it kind of still sticks out so it's not going to contain the whole thing which i think is going to be fine it might look a little bit weird but uh i mean we kind of backed ourselves into a corner unfortunately with building this thing right here uh because i didn't think that we would actually do this but i think it's going to be okay okay there we go we should be able to pick up a bunch of these now at this point uh are we going to be inventory full again? We might. Inventory. Yeah, we are. Let's try and weld a couple more of these so that we can pick up that other stuff. Okay, that should be good. We should have enough space now to pick up everything. Inventory. No! <laughs> this is one more. Uh, this. Yes. Haha. -ha. Okay, I think we've got everything. Now let's get in the puppy mobile. Uh, I, I restarted, so I that wheel might have been fixed. I don't know. Yeah, okay, the wheel's fixed. So you remember the wheel was broken last time. Uh, which is a little bit weird, but let's move forward just a little bit. We're going to go forward, and then we're kind of going to back into there. And we're going to see what it looks like. I, I think it'll look pretty good, but we'll we'll see. And that's good. We, we hit kind of hard, but parking brake here, and that's looking pretty good. So uh, if we find a way to sort of kind of seal up that side right there, then I think it's going to end up looking pretty solid. So we'll have one right there, and then we'll have kind of the same thing over here. For If we go, uh, let's see, one, two, three three four five and then we have one buffer yeah so that'll look pretty good i think is when we have two vehicles just kind of chilling here uh so at least they're not like in the main part of the the hangar they're just kind of back a little bit okay so that that's gonna be fine uh do we want to i guess let's let's make it look a little bit nicer uh just by adding a couple blocks up here so first you get welded and you also get welded we'll go back a couple blocks like this and then we'll do the same thing on the side uh, we'll go down one and right there. Okay, we're going to weld these ones up in a second. And that should make it look so much better from the other side. So let's let's hope we have enough stuff here. Remember, we got those fast welders. Oh, my God. I keep coming back to uh, Apocalypse series and then this series. And it's so different because this one we have the super speed welder that welds, like, instantly. Whereas the Apocalypse series, we have the, the small welder, which takes forever to weld anything. So it's a bit different. Okay, let's weld this one. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's, uh, can you see that from there? No, you can't really, can you? Well, let's do this anyway. We'll go up right here and right there as well. Just because we have the steel plates, why not? Weld some of these steel plates as well. And now we're going to start to run out. Okay, that's fine. It should look decent at this point. We might have to go further back as well from that for it to look decent, but let's see. How does it look? Okay, we're looking pretty good. It's starting to look kind of normal 
Uh, this this is kind of weird. It looks like these are on two separate grids, maybe? I hope they're not, uh, because that would be super awkward. Let me see if I can paint them to uh, to go to the same place. So, paint. Yeah, okay, so they're on the same grid. We're good. Whew! <laughs> if you've ever played uh, co-op mode, then I'm sure you've dealt with accidentally placing on two separate grids, and it's so annoying, because half of your base is powered and half the other base is not powered and so it's it's uh yeah it's a pain in the butt um our batteries look like they they're providing the full power at this point we need to get uranium fast or we need to get this set up that's the mo most ideal situation since we do want to uh do that as well this episode so let's really quickly hop into our production swap out that for that so that we can start making more steel plates um and then i think what we're gonna do we're gonna grab all of the ones that we have all of the uh the solar panel things that we have um let's disconnect from this we're going to put you in the hangar for now. Do you have anything on you, first of all? What? Why do you have these? Why are these in your connector? What? That's so weird. I don't understand. You know what? Just just hang out here for a second, then. If those are in your connector, just hang out there for a second. We're going to grab them from this thing. <laughs> That's so weird. Nope, not nine. What am I looking for? Why? There we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there goes a piece of something. Hope it's not important. That's what happens when you uh, land on an unfinished thing. Okay, let's back up. We're going to back into this one. Uh, hopefully we don't accidentally kill it because this is very dangerous. Or it seems dangerous. Right, let's press P and I. Okay, so we need to find the uh, the things. The, these, there they are. And we need to put them inside our cargo container, which is right here. And it can store all of them. That's good. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's disconnect from you. And what we're going to do is let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's go out this way. We're going to fix up these ones right here. And we should be able to get all of them with those 500. Um, or at least most of them. We're having trouble stopping those. So real quick here. Let's let's get down. And weld. There's one. Here's another two. Here's another two. There we go. Come on. Can we get through all of them? That'd be so good if we can get through all of them. Because when the sun comes up, we'll get so much power. Maybe. I don't know how good solar panels are. There we go. That's another one. And the final. Nope. We have two more actually. Looks like those are free, those are uh, lacking materials. Yeah, I think we might be out of solar cells at this point. But you know, we have we have most of them done. So all we need is a couple more solar cells. Let's head back to uh, we're running out of oxygen as well, so we'll keep that in mind. Um, we'll have to find an oxygen bottle, or we'll have to go onto the ship to grab some. But real quick, while we're here, oh no no no, we are, we're skidding to the side there. We don't want to do that. I'm watching the oxygen. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now I say that, and I'm going to end up dying from it. You watch. All right, here we go. And what? Oh, okay. And connected. There we go. Let's press I. Let's look for some solar panels. Uh, so solar. That's Kohler, not solar. Solar panels. Uh, here's 135 of them. Looks like they're still being created. We'll grab all of them. Uh, I don't know what else we need. I think solar panels might be the only thing that we need here. Uh, let's grab a couple more. And a couple more. Look how many we have. Jeez. Uh, we're going to end up crashing our ship with this many, aren't we? I can see it. Is our thing almost full? We've almost got a full cargo container of them. Okay. Search for solar again. Solar uh, cell is what they're called. Uh, so these are all the ones that we have in our thing. Uh, that's the one in our welder. And then these are the ones that we can drag over. Awesome. I think this should be enough to make everything. Let's put some inside of our cockpit, if, if that's connected. I don't, no, it's not. Uh, but we should be able to put some in our connector. Yes. All right. I don't think our ship's going to fly, personally, but that's just me. Uh, we'll see if it does, and hopefully it does, because it would be a problem if it doesn't. But uh, let's see. Uh, we are on the moon, after all. All right. It does fly, but it's very sluggish. It's extremely sluggish. But I think it's going to be fine. 18 oxygen. Still keeping an eye on that. Oh, there we go. And we're gone. <laughs> the momentum is insane. Well, the heavier you get, that, that's how momentum works. The heavier you get, the more momentum you have when you go a direction. And so stopping becomes harder. That's basically, that's the basic guide to momentum. So that's why when cars crash, when one's going left and one's going right, they stop. And more or less. All right, there we go. Little solar panels. We got a full line done. Can we get a second line done with the, the amount that we have? We have a bunch of them, so maybe we can. But I don't even know if these are almost done, so we'll see. Oh, I guess they are. Wow. Okay. Got another full line right here. I'd be so happy if we can get another full line. That'd be 40 solar panels done, which is almost half of the uh, of the full capacity of this solar farm. In other words, we'd be getting power for days. 
which would be good. Because uranium is fun and all, but it's hard to, you know, you have to actually go and get it and everything. It's just a hassle, everything like that. Okay, let's let this hover right here real quick while I go out and uh, set up some more solar panels. Uh, so first what we're going to do is we're going to set these up. We're out of steel plates. Uh, okay, well, let's go refill our oxygen then while we're here. How about that? We'll go and refill our oxygen from here. Let's see if they have an oxygen bottle. Hopefully they do. Otherwise, uh, otherwise it's going to be fun. <laughs> Trying to find some. But, yep, there we go. Oxygen bottle. Might, might want to grab two, but I'll, I'll just keep one right now. I think that's going to be fine. All right, we're back. <laughs> I really hope this didn't just destroy a bunch of this because it was hovering over it. But uh, but let's, let's move you out of the way just for a second real quick because I want to add some of these steel plates over there. So you fly over there. Uh, we'll add some steel plates right here. So I'm only going to add the minimal amount of steel uh, plates because it comes to my attention that we've kind of starting to run out of them. So I'm only going to kind of add this line right here and I will not add the ones under this. Just so we can kind of reserve steel plates for now. Or preserve them, not reserve them. Uh, but there we go. We're going to go about four out. So this line right here. And we've actually got already lines right here. So let's just boom, 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 boom. Just machine gun fire it. All right, there's another line, and here's another one right here. I also want to be careful I don't die from going backwards, because that can certainly happen. Nope, not there. There. There we go. Five. Mambo number five. All right, there we go. We should have all of the lines done. Not all of the blocks that go underneath it. We might not actually add those, but we have all of the lines done at least. We have uh, currently 40 solar panels that could be working uh, wherever the sun is. I guess the sun's over there somewhere since we see that part of Earth kind of lit up over there. Uh, but yeah, so I think we probably want to add the solar panels. We probably want to go ahead and add those uh, to here. So are they still positioned correctly? No, they are not. We're going to have to position them again. You, you, there we go. Okay. So number one, we're gonna put like this. One, two, three. Is in the wrong place. I've done, I've done misclicked. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more and ten. There we go. Okay, let's uh, go down the other way. We're just gonna place them all, and then we will, uh, we'll focus on building them. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Uh, that one looked a little bit weird. Nine and ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three. Oh, wait, I wanted to add. Hang on, hang on. Okay, hang on. Did I want to add a line, like a way to get through? Did I? I don't remember. We could add one right there, but then we have to move them all, which would be a pain in the butt. Uh, let's see. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut real quick. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do this because it might take a while. So I'll be right back. All right, there we go. It looks a little bit jank, but uh, there is the basic layout of what we want to do here. So we've got uh, we've got solar panel. No, we've actually got we got a path, then solar panel, then solar panel, path, solar panel, solar panel, path, solar panel, solar panel, path. You get the idea. Uh, now it's time to actually hop into this thing, and let's hope that all that time that it took for us to do that, these things are now done. Let's see production. Looks like you have two thousand more to go, which um, is kind of a, a, a few, but we, we can. We can at least grab some of the stuff required. So at this point, let's see what we have in here. Do we have enough stuff to keep going? We have a couple of these. Uh, let's go ahead and try and weld a couple of these things. Let's let's try and weld a line. Because if I remember correctly, we should have enough uh, enough actual stuff for all of these. So enough everything but solar cells. Uh, we should have enough of. So let's go ahead and weld most of these up. We'll just continue along the line here to weld as much as we can. And we might actually run out of steel plates for these, just because we're also using steel plates for the things below. But we'll see. I'm just gonna go forward like this. Oh, you've stopped. Why have you stopped? Oh, let's turn this back on so we can see. Looks like we're out of construction points and steel plates. 
but at least we can give you know what let's let's travel back here then uh, if we're out of those things let's grab them as well just to make sure that we have them all uh, so we need 60 more solar panels okay so let's hop into here let's let's park ourselves the USS Woodburn our <laughs> current our current edition of uh, welder there we go press I and we're gonna see what we have aboard our ship uh, so cargo uh, actually well tell me everything in white is what we have aboard the ship so this is the stuff that we have aboard the ship in the cargo container right there for instance uh, let's search for um, steel plates we need a bunch of them steel plate uh, we're going to go ahead and grab a bunch of these so 404 404 steel plates not found <laughs> it's a 404 error but let's go ahead and grab as many of these as we can we're gonna make it so that our ship can't fly anymore it's not gonna be able to 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 keep itself up we should be able to hold a bunch more there you go there you go all right let's look for uh solar solar cell so here's a good 22 which we're gonna grab uh here's another eight let's grab those there we go they're making pretty fast so i mean it doesn't take very long for them to build up there's another 169 we're almost full to capacity here oh here we go oh no that's the medium cargo container that we're looking at right now and then there's some in our connector as well yeah the connector's got another 500 so i think the connector can actually merge them into there but uh, we have everything that we need except for construction components let's do a quick search construction do we not have any okay we don't have any construction components well in that case uh, go ahead and bump up production of construction components because we do need those pretty fast uh, and those should make relatively fast like they're they're, they're yeah construction uh, yeah okay so here we go we'll stick them inside this same thing so here put some right there uh, we can't actually hold them there but we'll stick them inside the welders so we'll go half and half I suppose Okay, here we go. We got a pretty much a full capacity here. We've got lots of connector of uh, construction points rather inside the ship. They're inside the welder pieces themselves, uh, but we've also got everything else that we need. Okay, so we probably need some lights on this thing as well, but I guess we won't worry. Or maybe we already have lights. I don't remember. But let's get these fixed up while the sun's coming out, so we can get tons and tons of power. All right, here we go. These are two complete. Another two complete. How many construction points do they require? Ten per. So we should be. We should have much more than we actually need for these let's let the right side there we go the right side was doing some sort of uh, thing with the the armor blocks underneath okay well, while you are connected let's go and take a look at the uh, power input so it looks like we have two to three uh, bars for all of these three bars three bars three bars I'm seeing three bars down the line so let's see if we're full on power at this point no, we're not. We're actually, I think we're probably losing power. So let's take a look at this stuff and see how you're doing. Uh, power input is 1.7 megawatts. Current output is 4.2 megawatts and uh, a little bit of lag there. So I think probably those solar panels are not providing enough for this entire uh, range of stuff to be using power, which is not good because it means we're still going to need to use uranium. But at least the solar panels are providing uh, a bunch. They're providing quite a bit. So that's that's definitely good um, but to take over like the full use for this base I think we're probably going to need many more solar panels than just this um, but once again we're only at this much maybe if we get that much it'll actually do better or something but uh, I don't know is our refinery our, our refinery is gonna work 24 7 I don't know we'll see let me see refinery let's see what they all have uh, looks like you're getting uranium you're also doing uranium. All of you are doing uranium here. So here, let's let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna go and grab some uranium, all the uranium that we can find. Uh, so uranium, we're going to grab all of it. Do we have any in here? No, we don't have any in there. There we go. Yeah, so we're gonna grab all the uranium, which is 43. We're gonna stick it into this thing and see how much power that is now generating. So here's some uranium. Let's check on this. Uh, you are now inputting 12 megawatts, so the, the power from this is definitely helping as well, uh, so that we don't use as much uranium here, but yeah, let's turn this back on then to see what happens. So, toggle block on, and we should be able to mine as well, I'll go, I'll show you that in a second, but, um, but, uh, but we'll see. So, 
yeah so current output is equal to the input and that might actually be the max input and the max output i don't i don't know if that's the case but um but yeah so we've got nanites flying around and i think those red ones might be the miners let's go and look i'll i'll, I'll see if there's any mining targets uh yeah so see we have mining targets here and then we have um we have some mining streams so let me show you what that's all about so this thing right here actually does see material now and it's seeing iron and something else uh I don't know what it's doing right now. It's just kind of stopped. But, uh, but yeah. So, when we did reload the thing, not only did it fix that wheel over there, but it also fixed that. And if we go to a terminal, you'll see... And that's still floating there. <laughs> you'll see that uh, that it did do that. So, we're looking for nanite. And we can see the hammer locator. So, it's detected a bunch of gold and a bunch of iron as well. So, it should be able to go and grab that stuff. Unfortunately, it did not detect any uranium. I think the uranium is probably a little bit farther this way. So, if we build another one, maybe... Uh, maybe it'll also detect uranium but for now we're gonna let those nanites mine see what happens see how much they get because i don't think have we mined any gold yet i don't think we have or i guess we might have but we'll see let me let me take a look real, here real quick uh gold yeah we have gold ingots but like are we getting any gold in here are we getting any iron yeah i don't know i don't know how to tell but i guess they are doing their stuff if we look in here we'll see it Let's wait for a second. Maybe it'll, they'll, they'll pop up right here. We have thruster components in there. All right, are we gonna see any gold? Where are those red? Yeah, they are. No, yeah, I don't see any. So I don't know uh, how we can tell about that one, but yeah. All right, let's have, hop back into our ship. Press I so that we can look at our production. Looks like we're almost down to a thousand, which is good. Let's go all the way down here. We're gonna grab the, uh, the newest solar cells. Got another 26. Nice. We got another 20. Uh, are you full? No, you're not. How come? Okay, there we go. It wasn't working for a second, so I was confused. Um, but solar cell, solar cell, solar cell. We've got a bunch in here. That's that's the actual cargo container. Where are they all being dragged to? Oh, you know what? I bet you the nanites are taking them. So that they can work on it as well. Should we let the nanites fix them up? I guess we could. But, uh, no, I don't know. Let's let's disconnect. We'll, we'll go into a couple more manually, and then we'll probably let the nanites uh, do the rest while we work on our um, our thing, our, our fighter ship, which we want to do as well this episode. So let's start on this side with our USS, uh, what was it called again? <laughs> the Harvenator? No, the Harvenator was the other one. Woodburn. All right, there's another one completed. And you know what? It'd be great if we could finish this entire line here, and then we could let the nanites work on the other line. There we go. Just a couple more for this line. Let's uh, back up here real quick. Yeah, we, we forgot to fix that one up. Okay, looks like we need more solar cells for this one, but the least we can do is actually work on it a little bit. The nanites can bring those solar cells once they're ready, I suppose. But other than that, we should be good. Alright. Nanites, you haven't even completed one yet. Be ashamed. For shame, nanites. Wait a second, did I just hear one get completed? Oh no, they're working on the, uh, the bottom part. Okay, that's fine. Nanites, you do that. That's totally cool. Um, but we are going to run out of steel plates, but I guess that's going to be fine. Okay, let's start building the the fighter ship. Oh, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Awesome. We're coming in hot. There we go. Let's just go down a little bit and over. And we are connected. Okay, so the fighter ship, I kind of want to build the fighter ship up here. Do we have any steel plates on us, first of all? Oh, uh, we have 42. It'd be nice to get more. But I think the nanites might have stolen them all, so we'll see. No, they did not. Well, that was nice of them to not steal them all. Okay, let's hop up here and start working on our fighter ship. So, I don't really know what we want in a fighter ship. I'm a, I think probably we want... Um, well, I kind of want to go for... Oh, we turned off our dampeners. What the heck? That was weird. Uh, I kind of want to go for at least one automated turret. Maybe two automated turrets. Plus... Um, physical turrets that I can fire so probably two automated turrets kind of on the top or maybe even on the sides 
and then uh, physical turrets towards the front. So let's start with our uh, our landing gear here, which uh, there it is. Landing gear. Okay, there we go. Uh, then we're gonna go with normal normal blocks, and we're gonna eventually go with um, the heavy the heavy stuff. But uh, actually, is number nine heavy? Yeah, number nine is heavy. So let's go. Let's let's uh, well let's make our base first, and then we will uh, work on that heavy stuff. There we go. So that's the base right there. We're going to start with the cockpit. Now for fighters, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to designate um, this this group right here to be uh, fighter stuff. So let's, un let's undo all of this right here. We're going to get a cockpit. Uh, we're going to start with the fighter cockpit. We're going to use um, turrets, so Gatling guns. Both kinds. So there we go. We're going to get a missile launcher. Uh, do I, I think I'm going to want a ro rocket launcher instead. Would be a better idea. Uh, just kind of a reloadable one. Or just a standard rocket launcher might be a better idea. Because those, let's see, I think they're cheaper as well. To have the standard. Yeah, it's not that bad. I think maybe a reloadable might be a better. Uh, well, the, this one's smaller. So let's go with it. We'll, we'll get both of them. Why not? Uh, so we'll get those ones. And then I think that should be good for this stuff. So let's start with the cockpit. We're going to face it this way because we don't have as much room going forward. Uh, and then on the front, I think we're going to want to... What are we going to want to do? We're going to want to put the guns at least somewhere. So the guns, let's start with that. Number three. We're going to turn them kind of this way. Do they have a thing on the back? No, they don't. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, what can we do then? Let's see. If we flip them like this, we can have, have them up top. So then we can do something like this. We can have one there and then one there, so we can have a double. That might not be a bad idea. We can do that on both sides, just so that we have quite a bit of firepower here. So, just like one, two. And if we look at number four, is this one... It's not reloadable, so we'd have to reload it whenever we want to fire it. But uh, we could stick this one kind of on the side as well. Like right there. That might not be a bad idea. Have a lot of guns on the front, and then the ability to... Or maybe here. Here's what we'll do. New idea. So break that one off. Break this one off. Um, we're going to have a reloadable rocket launcher on the front top. Or non-reloadable, rather. So it's non-reloadable rocket launcher. Pretty much it just fires a bunch of times and then it's done. So I think that's facing the right direction. There we go. So we've got... up. Oh, that's a little bit too far forward. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the front. So the front's going to have... Actually, let's move the reloadable rocket launcher back one as well. Uh, or the non I keep calling it a reloadable rocket launcher. It's a non-reloadable rocket launcher because it's not able to reload. Uh, but we'll move that back one. So what it's going to have is it's going to have Gatling turrets, four of them facing front ways, and then four rocket launchers facing front ways as well, just so we can hit anything that we're kind of aiming at. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to do the non-automated stuff. Let's go ahead and weld some of this stuff, and then we'll kind of work on the body of the ship as well to make it look nicer. All right, here we go. Here's the front of our ship once it's all welded up. And this is our rocket launcher, which we can reload manually, but not um, not automatically. So, But it can store a lot of rockets, so I'm not too uh, concerned with it being non-reloadable. Uh, I think it's going to be fine. Um, do we want to make this out of hydrogen? No, probably not. Probably want to go with ion since we're in space and we don't plan on going uh, to the planet with this thing. Uh, most of our enemies are in space anyway, so I think it's going to be fine. Uh, what color do we want to paint this? I'm thinking probably some sort of blue. Uh, so let's take this color right here and we'll modify it a little bit, make it kind of like a darker blue, something like that. That would look pretty cool. And then these we'll paint maybe, like, go up to the second color over here, paint it black maybe? So I like blue and black, that's a pretty nice co uh, color combination, I think. So guns will be black, body will be blue, and I think that should look good. Uh, right, so we have that set up. Let's work on the front of the ship, because I want it to kind of, I don't know how we're going to kind of bring this in. But uh, we'll see, I guess. We'll do something. Um, hmm. I don't know. What do we want to do here? Okay, there we go. We've got some of the body kind of built out. We know we want to bring this kind of back a little bit. So let's get our uh, our pieces in first. So get the. So what I'm saying here is get essentially get the interior sorted, and then worry about the um, the uh, then worry about the body. That's how we're gonna do this. Is that the piece that we've been using? The black. I guess it is. Okay. So bring it back right there. Then use uh, one of these. Get another corner in. Turn it right there. Bring this one back one. And then in to this side. A 
Okay, here we go. This is how our our uh, conveyor system is going to be set up. Um, we're going to have to do a good job of hiding it, essentially, from all of the, the gunfire so that it doesn't catch a bullet because that would be bad. That would essentially make all of our guns not work. Now, the way this is set up here is that all of our guns are connected together up to the fighter cockpit because the fighter cockpit's actually got like a small little connection right at the bottom there. So these are all connected uh, right about there. We're going to need to extend the, uh, the hull, for instance, or the hull pretty much, out this way so that it covers this stuff so that it does not take damage. And the way we're going to do that, I think first is we're going to, to pretty much just flat out cover it. So like this, we're just gonna do something like this, go all the way around it, make sure it's all covered. So like that, uh, and then just, yeah, just keep going like that. And then we'll come back right here just to make sure that this covered right there. We'll do the same thing on this side as well. Uh, so pretty much just go out, cover everything. And then we're gonna come back right about to there. Uh, so this will just make sure that everything is covered and we don't need to worry about um, about any sort of uh, of hit on that. Unless it just gets really unlucky and gets sniped. But yeah. And we'll go out to there and that should be good. Actually, this one, we don't want that to be there. Probably wanted to go out to the side like that. Maybe like this. Okay, let's weld up these pieces and we'll continue. Okay, so at this point we've got most of our stuff covered. It's time to add a little bit of flair to our ship, I think. So we're gonna go to number five, we're gonna go to a corner piece and we're gonna turn it so that it's facing this way. And then we're gonna add some sort of like, uh, it's gonna be like a cool little lead up to our guns. So we're gonna do something like this. That one, that one, that one. So it's gonna kind of cover the guns. And so, so they kind of look like they come out of nowhere. Or that one does at least. <laughs> and then it just kind of like brings the uh, this piece right here into the ship as well. It makes it look cool. So we're going to do that, and then right here we'll stop that. We'll add something different right there. So four blocks. Uh, do the same thing on this one right here. One, two, three, and then four right there. And we'll do the same on the bottom just to make it look nice. Okay, let's weld these up. Okay, it's welded. Now we just need to figure out a sort of elegant way to kind of bring it all to a point uh, for the nose of the cockpit, for the nose of the front of the ship. So let's do, I think probably what we're going to do is we're going to start by bringing it up right here so for this piece for instance we'll do something like this just a normal piece uh, like that then maybe we'll do this and usually this requires a lot of design but we're just kind of going to kind of go with something maybe something like this and we'll have a piece that kind of merges that or maybe we'll break that piece right there and change it with something um, and we also want to do here, put it right here as well bring it up there we go it's looking pretty nice and then we'll we'll find a way to kind of Tie this in, tie this together, sort of. Uh, all right, let me let me have a play with it. I'll come back after we've kind of designed the ship a little bit. All right, we've kind of got the body sort of set up here. I did a little bit of work on the design. It looks, I, I, you know, I figure it looks decent. It's not the greatest thing ever, but I think it looks uh, good enough. Let's let's put it that way. We might eventually put something right here, or we might put something in this little hole right here that kind of the front is leading up to, but I'm not sure what we'll put there. Maybe like another gyro or something, or like a little antenna. But that's kind of a dangerous place to put things, don't you think? So um, now we kind of want to work on the things that the ship is going to have. So we know it's going to have uh, at least... A cargo container uh, I think one might do we might want to consider adding two though but let's let's just throw one in uh, we'll put it here uh, so cargo uh, we're gonna go with the medium not the large because we you know we don't want to use up some of that spot right there but we'll go with the medium kind of put it let's see how do we want to face this I think we're gonna face this you have two sides that are normal right and then you have two sides that are like that okay we're gonna face it like this then um, and let me real quick take a look at this. What do you require? Uh, you can actually take small entrances. So for a small thing, that's actually huge. Holy crap. I don't even know if we'd be able to put, put these on here. Well, we only want one. So I guess we could stick it like back here somewhere somehow. But uh, it, it is pretty gigantic and I did not expect it to be that big. Uh, let's fill this up minus the display. We need to go and grab one display for this thing. But that's going to be that. Let's see. We are going to definitely want the uh, the the gun. And it's, it is really big. I didn't know it was this big, but I mean, we could stick it like right here. I don't know. How do we want to put this? Because you're connected to you. So you, you're going to be fed 
ammunition. As long as we have ammunition inside the ship, uh, you'll have ammunition. So that's definitely good. Um, what if we do something like... Well, we're definitely gonna we're gonna have to stick the gun up here, aren't we? We have no other option. It's gonna have to go up there. But I don't know, uh, like how big are you? Oh, okay. So it's not actually that big. It just kind of sticks up a little bit. Uh, so it's not. Yeah, that's not that bad. Okay. Well, let's go here. Uh, we're gonna add a second cargo container um, to this. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. That's a bad idea. Instead of doing that, we're going to go ahead and throw one of these things on, just an all way uh, junction. And does that junction all way actually? I don't think it does. Let me double check that. No, it doesn't. So we're going to have to flip it up like this. So it's got every way except for the left and the right. And I think that's going to be fine. Let's fix you up. You need construction components and displays. So let's go and grab those. Uh, by the way, the nanites have completely finished this whole field here. Uh, so we are now good on, on power. Well, we're not good on power. We still need to use uranium. And luckily, our, our, our things were making uranium. So we have quite a bit. But um, the nanites have proven themselves to be useful. So we'll, we'll let them continue to, to work. And hopefully, eventually, they build up this stuff as well. But they have been working. Like, a lot of stuff is actually being built. Like, that stuff right there, I didn't do that. So the nanites are definitely slowly coming in here and fixing things up. Uh, right, what did we need? Displays and construction components? There's the components. Uh, we need displays, which are... We have a bunch of them, I know. Yeah. We only need, like, ten, maybe. Honestly, I think we only need, like, one, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, let's stick the turret on top and see how that works. So stick that right there. We're going to stick it facing the front. Yeah, it looks weird, but we'll be able to, like, we'll build up around it so it looks natural. Uh, and in fact, we might want to. We might put one on the bottom as well. That might not be a bad idea, sticking one down here. Um, but it will be a little bit tough for, for, uh, for us to kind of make it work. But you know what? Actually, let's do it. Why not? Okay. Uh... Flip you upside down. There we go. And let's place you right there. I think that is... Yep, that's lined up. And... There we go. We now have two turrets. One on the bottom and one on the top. Just we're going to have to be a little bit careful with how we kind of design the ship. Because we did want to go down a little bit more. Uh, but we can't really because this thing's here. So we don't want it to shoot our own ship. But hopefully it'll be able to shoot anything that's kind of down below us. Alright, so that's... Look, look how weird that looks. Doesn't that look kind of really weird? We could fly out like that. Well... We don't have thrusters yet, but uh, it could totally work. All right, we're going to have to do a little bit more work on the body, so stay tuned, uh, and we'll be right back. All right, here we go. Here's what the ship looks like currently. We're about to end the episode because I think it's been going on for a bit uh, long here, but uh, this is our current state of the ship. We'll probably finish it next episode, and maybe even we'll go out uh, with it next episode to see if it can fight off some pirates. But currently, uh, we've got our two turrets are set up. We got one up top, and we got one up or one down below. Uh, we've also got... Three Four, four Gatling turrets. I almost said three. Uh, four Gatling turrets on the bottom. So one, two, three, four. These are human controlled. So controlled by me. Uh, then we've got uh, two missiles. Two missile things. And then finally we've got like a little wing that we're kind of setting up. Four batteries as well, by the way. So one, two, uh, three, four. And then two cargo containers. But we've also got this kind of wing thing that we're setting up. And I don't really know what we're going to put there. Um... I haven't decided yet. Maybe we're going to put more rocket launchers uh, like this one. Or maybe we'll put more Gatling turrets. Or maybe we'll just put nothing. It might just be like a little decoy area. I don't know. Uh, but we are putting this cool little wing. Um, actually, post down in the comments what you think we should put there. Because <laughs> you got me. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to put something there, though. Anyways, if you guys liked the episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers Let's Play... That was a weird ending.